First, they were shocked, then they were angry. Then that anger turned into a grassroots movement. Now, more than 2,000 people strong. We're talking about the biggest story of the last two weeks, toxic air all over Portland. Eileen Park takes you inside the movement that's getting the attention of our lawmakers, including the governor. When we pressured his assistant, uh, she said he wasn't on site. So we took it upon ourselves to gather that information. On this Saturday morning in the Southeast, the East Side Portland Air Coalition, not even a month old, refuses to take a break. We've been able to go from you know, zero to 60 in almost no time. As of this morning, a Facebook group started by a couple is now 2,200 members strong, launching a campaign to tackle toxic air in their community. I know you're here because you're concerned. Thousands of residents learned from the Department of Environmental Quality two weeks ago that they've likely been breathing toxic air for decades. I kind of felt like I had been had. I felt like I've been fed this spin all these years about the greenness of Portland and to find out the truth it was just absolutely outrageous. Outrage is what fueled the creation of the coalition. Jessica Applegate handles the media, Jennifer Jones the legal aspects, and Hannah Howell handles the legislature. My children have always breathed this air. This is the only air they've ever breathed. This anger has been channeled into a movement surprisingly well organized. Their website was built in days. Residents with many different skills stepped up to the plate. People coming forward and saying, I'm a graphic designer. I want to make posters. I'm a photographer. I want to tell the story through pictures. I'm an environmental engineer. I'm going to do hours of research analyzing how chromium-3 can turn into chromium-6. This coalition is laser focused on two things, changing the way glass companies emit toxins and changing the laws that allow the companies to emit them in the first place. It's really not even a political issue. I know that it needs to be resolved in the political arena, but there's no left and no right on air quality. We all need to breathe. In Portland, Eileen Park, Coin 6 News.